Hey there guys, this is ATH Shadow Angel here once again. Uh, with a bit more Warhammer Fantasy uh, for you. Uh, so, what have we got for today? Or oh, whenever, I don't know. Uh, we have the brand new Slaughter Brute model from uh, GW and uh, Citadel, as always. Well, you know what I mean. Uh, taking a look at still uh, going on the trail of uh, Warriors of Chaos. And looking at some of their new bits and pieces. Um, now this is something I I, I really felt I really liked uh, when it was well, when it first got announced out. Um, it looks a proper monster on the box. The box is a fair size. Uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, today we're going to do an unboxing of this, and uh, hope it you know gives you the help of seeing what you get and all the bits. So, to say where do we? Uh, so we'll begin uh, with the front cover, or oh, the front of the box, which is obviously your general models uh, of the slaughter brute on the front. Uh, so as you can see, it is a fairly monstrous looking thing. Proper cool demonic look to it. Massive sharp claws, sword sticking in it, and uh, the mass the three. Three tongued load of teeth eyed beast that it is. Uh, so, if we turn it over, you can see the. Turn it the other way around. Turn it the, uh, to the variant that. Uh, the other bit, well, which is the uh, vortex beast. I can't remember the. Oh, there you go. The. Uh, Mutalath vortex beast. I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, which is. It looks quite cool. It looks like quite cool and cool and everything with all the tentacles and it's got all the bits of drool and stuff off. But that'll be go. But I'll be building this as the big guy. Uh, so we'll come back in a minute and we'll see what's inside and have a bit of a closer look. So I'll catch you in a bit, guys. All right, so here we are. Come back, guys. So this is what you get inside of the box. Uh, you get two big. Uh, well, two big sprues full of all good, all goodies, I'm sure, uh, as well as your obvious instructions. The cool picture on the back uh, and your base. So we'll begin with base, standard uh, chariot base for the uh, for this thing. So just to give you an idea of the actual size of the of how big it is, like I say. Cavalry base it sits on. Uh, instructions are your standard GW ones, so the new, th well, the latest 3D ones. Both variants of the models of which you can build, as you might have guessed. So all, all standard stuff and far the instructions go. Uh, as for the sprues, uh, all I can say is really nice small bits of detail, like you got the. Uh, I'm guessing that's part of form of the back or the belly. I'm not sure yet. Uh, which has like eight pointed star on the base and all that. Uh, so what can I say? So basically, so what you got is you got your massive, mo massive claws, massive bits of plate, and everything. Uh, if I turn it round, you can see more spikes. Claws. It's just a monstrous of a, of a figure just to even look at in sprue form. To be fair, uh, the detailing on the bat legs. There's not much to go on there, but they are just pure muscle, <laughs> or demonic muscle, I should say. Um. So yeah, it's it's definitely. Uh, you know, I can't wait to see this thing put together. It should look a proper imposing figure. Um, so yeah, so this is where you get what you, um, like I say, your main body parts. Uh, so your back, legs, body, a uh, few arms, I think. Um, various other bits and pieces to go on there. Uh, so yeah, that's that sprue. Uh, yeah, torsos and stuff. Uh, let me move on to the other sprue, which on which is split into both um, the vortex and slaughter brute. 
so as you can see you've got the massive vortex bits and pieces that are on here which if you don't make I'm sure you can make some really nice uh, chaotic um, objective markers that's the word I'm looking for <laughs> uh, which should look really cool to sit on a base or sit in the ground or side of rock or something to make like a warp gate or some cool shenanigans like that the, ten the tendrils or tentacles or whatever you uh, that are for the Vortex Brute really do look nice uh, especially these ones just quicker look at them the detail in them with all the the drool patterns and uh, well, the drool drool effects that come on them and stuff do look really nice uh, you also get the uh, binding saber there it is so you get the binding stuff there, which is part of its rules. I think if I turn around, there we go. So that's the front of it. Getting pointed star on the top. And obviously more claws, teeth and everything else. And as far as the tentacles goes, you could use them quite nicely for a, tyr uh, with a bit of work on them. You could use them for tyranids or uh, demon, obviously. Um, yeah, yeah, it's a really nice set. Uh, there's the Slaughter Brute head, and I believe there's two of them. There you go. Is that it? Yeah. So you can either have the mouth wide, or you can have them all open, or you can have it closed. So, which I think I may have to go for the open one. <laughs> Just to shut off the roaring. So you get bits of swords and everything around here. Um, so yeah, no, there's not much to the kit. Uh, it's fairly, it's a big kit. So um, I'll probably do a video. I will do a video on this when it's built uh, and show you the uh, the scale and uh, see how well it goes together and all the rest of it. And so yeah, guys, uh, that's about it from me. Um, so right, I'll hopefully have a video at some point on something. Uh, it'll either be uh, Chaos uh, School Crushers, uh, an update video on them, or it'll be my Space Wolves, uh, which have been hired up for um, the attack on Prospero. Uh, but more of that will co come from uh, Templars Crusader 01, because obviously it's his campaign. Um, and yeah, so there you go guys, I uh, hope this has been some some help, uh, as always, uh, if you have anything to ask or comment then please write it down below in the comment section, uh, or as uh, I said that, or, or if you wish, you can uh, contact, uh, get in touch with me on my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash ATH Shadow Angel, um, and ask a question on there. Uh, so, thanks again, guys. Always, uh, always good to hear from you. I'll catch you later, and see you next time.